over here we see a slug cat that appears to be waking up in a bit more of a roomy area as it crawls out and attempts to go and explore its surroundings. It appears to be in a very dark area with these little glowy mice surrounding. It grabs one of the glowy mice and attempts to rip its tail off from its body. It's a very brutal slug cat, yes. But it seems to be very feral, like many slug cats are, and tries to grab the lantern mouse again. As we see here, the lantern mouse are quivering in fear at the slug cat because they know the harsh conditions that the slug cat could do to it. It appears to try and be running away from it as the slug cat flanks the slug cat um, flanks out the glowy mouse, the glowy bear mouse thingy, and once again, slug cats are not the best at parkour and are a little bit trash, but that's okay. As it attempts to try and do a wall jump, but wall jumping with a live animal is not a very um, you know, easy. It manages to head off and attempts to follow its little friend that is trying to guide it. That little yellow banana thing with the banana peels is called an overseer. And the overseer is... Oh, oh, never mind. The slug cat has brutally murdered a glowy bear and attempts to try and be murdering the rest of the glowy bears. This look at seems to have killed the glowy bear for only one reason, and that was because it was fun. This is truly a very attackive slug cat and is very brutal. Attempts to try and the overseer appears to be watching the slug cat like what the hell are you doing? We've committed mass murder. But the slug cat just runs away with a glowy bear in hand, a glowy bear corpse in hand, as it just continues down the long hallway with its corpse. Now, over here, as we've seen from previous areas, that this is what we call Glowy Bear Central, the main living quarters of the Glowy Bear. The slug cat sees many glowy bears as it realizes all of the mass murder it could do in this room. The slug cat gets excited and decides to explore more as it finds more creatures it could murder. Those creatures run for their life, but the slug cat attempts to follow them and kill them. The glowy bears are the natural prey of the slug cat, as we have just seen. The slug cat appears to be stuck in a vent as it tries to escape, <laughs> as it attempts to, <laughs> as, it att as it attempts to escape from the vent, it may have eaten one too many glowy mice or glowy bears, but it gets out of it anyway and it jumps around with the glowy bear corpse in hand, leaving it as a message for all of the other glowy bears. The slug cat appears to try appears to trying to be finding predators 
for some reason. It is unknown why it is trying to find predators, but it continues on in search that it, in hopes that it will find a, in hopes that it will find a predator. It fails to, as it fails to find a predator, the slug cat starts to question its existence and its life overall. It, it spots a predator, but it just appears to ignore the spider altogether and continue on in search of a real predator, since the spiders it sees are rather wimps, and are not for the slug cat's liking. The slug cat spots a spear, its main componental weapon, as it can use this spear to commit mass murder and kill all of the creatures around. Overwhelmed by the cuteness of the glowy bears, the slug hat appears to spare the life of just one glowy bear. As we see the glowy bear, little big old autistic eyes as it stares at the slug hat, but it seems to move on and tries to find its way around. Slug Cat appears to enter an area that it likes to call the Mass Murder Area. This is the Slug Cat's main area that it uses for murdering all of its enemies and brutally killing anything it finds, normally. It sees the spider as it attempts to run away from the slug cat. The slug cat um, is appearing to insult it as it taunts the creature. It throws a spear at the spider and the spider appears to try and appears to be attacking the slug cat, but it impales the the spider with its spear and brutally kills the spider. It takes the spider into chase as it tries to kill the spiders. The spiders appear to be attacking a scavenger. Scaven we spot some scavengers and more glowy mice appearing. This little cat seems to be shocked by what is going on around it. But it continues to try and... Oh, I dropped my camera. It goes around and tries to find more spears and attempts to try and murder all sorts of creatures as it realizes that the rain is coming. The rain is a natural predator to the slug cat as it attempts to try and murder a glowy worm and eat it. Not a glowy worm, a glowy bear and eat it. Fails to, it fails to attack the glowy bear as it runs away. The rain harshly attempts to come and kill the slug cat, but the slug cat, during the calm before the storm, the slug cat attempts to try and quickly run away and 
kill the slug cat as the rain partially drips down onto the slug cat as it kills all sorts of surrounding creatures and it floods the area. But the slug cat makes it into a shelter. The slug cat appears to be insanely tired and as such it tries to starve itself and force itself to sleep. The slug cat successfully sleeps. It has a very uncomfortable night and does not enjoy it whatsoever, but sacrifices must be made.